in Wales of us were born, raised, that we ceded sovereignty, our leaders ceded sovereignty forever. And then I think as the Maori history started coming out, then um, a lot of us had to change our minds. Even though our instincts said that it doesn't make sense, but we had no basis for saying it other than I can't imagine our tūpuna doing it. The use of the word mana in the, um, in the Declaration of Independence makes it quite clear that um, mana was not ceded in the Treaty of Waitangi and that the use of the word kāwanatanga was absolutely deliberate. There is a long-standing interpretation of the treaty that is around that says that Henry Williams went into the treaty negotiations and deceived Māori. I suspect it's a deliberate obfuscation, actually. Uh, I mean, we, we, we know what uh, the English said from which the Māori uh, translation was, was taken. Some of the suggestions that Māori were duped by the Treaty of Waitangi are not correct. Um, I, I do think that it was debated up and down the country. Words like mana were absolutely and utterly central to understanding Māori understandings that they were recognised in 1835 of having independence, chiefly mana, over these islands. It is true that we ceded aspects of our life, aspects of our authority, but in our, from our view we can find no documentation, oral, written or otherwise, that we ever ceded our sovereignty. Uh, and it's clear from the speeches they made prior to signing the treaty, they understood that they were being asked to cede some kind of superior governance to Queen Victoria. Uh, the word sovereignty might not have been understood fully, but they were clearly aware of the fact that if they signed that treaty, uh, the Queen would in some sense be above them. He in effect designed a treaty which conned Māori into believing that their sovereignty was actually protected when in fact it was being transferred to the British government. For myself, I've always thought the translation arguments to be uh, a little bit of a dead end in the sense that it can't be disputed that the treaty is actually the Māori text of the treaty. We signed a Māori version. It was the only version that was debated and discussed. And the Māori version tells us clearly, linked to the, to the Declaration of Independence, that we did not, could not, would not have, have ceded our sovereignty. Why would you cede your sovereignty to a motley bunch of 2,000 Europeans who were living here at the time? Māori never ceded sovereignty. If the word mana had been used instead to translate the English version, which was very definitely about ceding sovereignty to the British Crown, then no chief would have signed. So we've been able to now look at it fairly rationally and, and look at their actions, say, from 1831, 1834, 1835, 1840, and then after that, in 1847, 1850s, you find all the Māori leaders the next generations afterwards all singing the same song. We did not cede sovereignty. You took it.